In the past year, the Supreme Court took away life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. Life Dobbs has shown that our lives are worth less than liberty we can be discriminated against because of who we love. Pursuit of happiness equity in education doesn't exist. We are a third world country in a Gucci belt and the Supreme Court is illegitimate. The Federalist judges are doing exactly what they put on the court to do. This was always the plan. Always. They funneled billions into getting exactly this court. And what is being done about it? Absolutely nothing. Dude they took a made-up hypothetical case. They are absolutely 100 illegitimate in my eyes at this point. Fascists don't care about freedom or democracy. They only barely play at democracy until they're in power and can greet rid of it. The Republican Party needs to be removed from power and done away with. Democrats are already basically a conservative party by global standards. Just get rid of the fucking fascists and start forming some new parties that aren't genocidal. Shit bags. We can all blame the worst U.S. president of all time Donald Trump and that animated sack of pig dung. Known as Mitch McConnell for the appointment of those draconic, authoritarian, subhuman judges. Vote like your lives depend on it. Because they do. But what about her emails? Yes. That's exactly right. They took it away from everyone except straight white ultra-conservative men. That was always their goal. Equality for none. We need to keep pointing this out and we need to keep fighting with all our energy. They won't stop here. Yup. Notice how they refused to strike down legacy admissions. Which ironically is just affirmative action for old money white families. They're not even trying to hide it. Because why should they? There's no consequences for them and there's nothing we can do about them being in power either. Money buys influence and the elite are working to take what little wealth is left from the 99. National strikes and unionization everywhere is the most reasonable path forward that I can see. Short of revolution. Put money back in the pockets of the average American and some modicum of influence should return. Six justices are conservative Catholics. Three of them are in Opus Dei. Religious extremists have taken over the court. They are there for life. Those were nothing more than carrots dangled before us to make us keep following. It pisses me off that 60 of white women voted for this. All of this is because of us. They want to take it all away from us. Next will be the ability to own property. 2016 had consequences. Maybe talk to the more than 50 of white women who voted for Trump both times. Y'all really love voting against your own interests then complaining that your rights are being taken away. Yeah. Living in the USA is the same as living in a third world country. Go tell that to the thousands of women in Middle Eastern countries. Tell that to me who lived in a favela in Brazil for a big portion of my life. How can you pursue happiness if you have cancer and can't afford treatment? We've never had universal health care. We've never had the right to the pursuit of happiness. Biden needs to increase the number of justices or we'll be even more doomed than we are now. L. Post. If your super progressive friends undermined Hillary Clinton, demanded that she earn their vote, argued that St. Bernie was robbed, stayed home or voted for Vladimir Putin's employee Jill Stein, they bear the responsibility for this. She. And we. Told them it would happen. Imagine how out of touch and privileged one must be to think that this has only happened in the. Past year. 
It always struck me that we went from life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness in the Declaration to life, liberty, and property in the Constitution. They have been playing the long game while the rest of us have ignored it. We've been distracted with whatever the immediate insult has been while they have kept steadily working to gain control. Now they have it. Now we are truly fucked. I have zero confidence or faith in our government. Filled with corruption and greedy monsters. Need to purge them all and get something better in place that is actual for the people and not for the rich and powerful. Since when did the needs of the few outweigh the needs of many? This whole liberal conservative nonsense is crazy and detrimental to our country. Sad. We are a third world country in a Gucci belt 100. When it comes to conservatives at this point, I have no patience. I've thrown all nuance out the window because it really all boils down to a simple either or are you evil or are you stupid. Man reading these comments you liberals are frickin' bonafides whack jobs. Jesus H. Christ. That's one take I guess. My point of view is completely different. So what country of the 193,195 would you like to be in then? Well their job is to do with the constitution and not the declaration unfortunately. The Supreme Court didn't take anything away they are ruling on the law and constitution. Your comments would be better directed to the legislative and executive branch. Example Roe v. Wade has been on thin ice since the original ruling and our politicians should have passed a specific women's health rights bill decades ago. And I can't even vote because I'm my parents' property for four more years.